Okay. Here we go for the next round. So the last amateur fight of the evening. The Viking Whoa. against the Frenchman. This is an amateur fight, but... Oh, damn, yeah, he's having fun. <laughs> That's nice to see him on that big smile. Yeah. And yeah, these are dynamic heavyweights. Yeah. Martin has a very extensive judo background. So it's going to be interesting to see what he's going to use that for. And the Frenchman is 11, 11 years old, right? 37 year old fighter. He's not very young. But he's Beautiful not fighting look. like someone no. that's 37 years old. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, the Frenchman likes to throw down. All right. There are two big contestants, man. And he's also very, very um, dynamic for a heavyweight. He has some solid boxing. But I also hear that the uh, French guy got a boxing uh, background. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, it shows. Yeah, so far, Laurent has stopped every takedown. Yeah, he's really relaxed in the, oh, in the fight. Wow. Oh, Whoa. beautiful. There's the judo of Martin. And he likes it, eh? Yeah, and he likes it. He's, he's having a great time. Yeah. But that's the whole point of fighting. You got to have a laugh at it. Double underhooks for Laurent, and using that to switch position. That's the fight, man! So round two. I still can't get a read of the French guy. And what do you mean? Well, he's, he, he's so calm, so relaxed. He takes, he takes the takedowns away. Yeah. It feels like he's playing with him. Yeah. You know, he's 37. He's 37. Yeah. He looks now. Uh, um, he looks now more focused than in the earlier game. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> nice uppercut. And the Frenchman is very comfortable. Very comfortable. Too comfortable, if you ask me. Almost. So why is it, what is he waiting for? You know. What will happen? We shall see. Is, I think it's just measuring his distance, picking his shots, because he knows he has the upper hand in, in the boxing department, yeah. in the, in the stand-up department. Because so far, Martin hasn't landed any significant shots yet. No, no, no. Oh, now he gets a takedown. Oh, a nice ground and pound. It's gonna be interesting. This is, this is big. Yeah. But Martin needs to work here. He needs to advance his position. He's trying to put the pressure on, but... If not, the referee is going to stand him up and he's done all the work for nothing. Now he switches into mount. This is better. Ooh. Oh, but the Frenchman has a deep... Oh, oh, he's getting out, snipping out. And he's going for a single leg. Oh. He should run the pipe now. It's too late for that. So he should just hold the leg up high. Nice and able to. Right. 
picked up Andres. Very smart. He's got a cut above his eye, yeah. uh, Martin. Do you see that? Yeah, he's got a cut above his, uh, above his eye. Ooh. I hope it's not going to bleed heavily. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, Mark, it seems his about his uh, left eye. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, the wrestling is starting to to work. It's starting to drain some energy from the Frenchman for long on. Yeah, you can tell. You can, you tell, can tell by looking at his face. He's still switching the positions, but he's taking a bit more time to do so now. And also, I don't see him smiling anymore. So, that was... Uh, Oh, that's a nice cut on the left eye. That's a nice cut. It's getting swollen up already. Last round. I'm amazed we actually got to the last oh. round. Oh. Oh. This is big. Because if the... If Laurent can now keep this position and work it and keep doing a bit of damage, he's going to steal the round and he might win the fight. Because I think he won the first round, I think Martin won the second round. Um, so whoever wins this round wins the fight, I think. All right. You, um, you can so see what? that they're uh, really listening to the corner. Yeah. yeah, he's in his own corner, so that's that's a good oh, thing good. for Martin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's sure. What would you what would you advise? What do, what do you think they would say to him now? What he's doing now? Oh, Make space. Yeah. Get to a standing position again. Ooh, Whoa, beautiful. Yeah, he's an underhook on the right side. Oh, now he lost it. No, he still got the underhook. And as long as he's got the underhook, he's able to, to create some space, unless he's stuck with his head against the cage, like he is now. All right. Now he's stuck. Yeah. Stuck, stuck. Oh, not stuck, stuck, but still. He has, no, he has no space to go to the left side. Yeah. All right. He's using the knee shield to create distance. The punches, you, you can hear them fall, man. Yeah, it's, can you imagine how, <laughs> how that yeah. must feel? They're both stuck right next to the commentator's boot, so we can hear every punch loud and clear. Oh. Nice counter. Yeah, Martin is, is so far, he's stuck. He's uh, fucked here. He's using the knee shield well, but he's not able to... No. To, the to, knee shield to is just temporarily and yeah. then out. Oh, and yeah. then he's getting closer. You know, he uses the knee shield well, but with that distance, he should get his other leg out to get to a butterfly position. Uh. But now he wasn't using his bottom leg. He's making the distance with his top leg with the knee shield. Whoa. And Laurent is just staying on top. He's not going yeah, anywhere. And we have a winner. From the blue corner, Laura Norbal!